Breaking news. 2020 presidential Ber candidate Bernie Sanders has released his tax returns. I got very excited. I started getting ahead of myself. Bernie Sanders is a millionaire. Over the past three years, Sanders made nearly $3 million, which makes him, of course, one of the wealthy people that he himself targets on the campaign trail. We are going to ask the millionaires and billionaires of this country to start paying their fair share of taxes. Billionaires and millionaires have poured hundreds of millions of dollars into the political process supporting Republican candidates, and today is payback time for them. Okay, Sanders tonight, though, insists he is not out to make enemies out of the rich. It's not vilifying to say that people have a whole lot of money, in some cases billions of dollars of wealth, they should pay their fair share of taxes. Okay, Rob Astorino is with me, member of President Trump's 2020 Re-Elect Advisory Council, and Jess McIntosh, former director of communications outreach for the Hillary Clinton campaign. Okay, Jess, so, look, as I have been saying, mm -hmm. Sanders is so lucky to live in a capitalist society because he wrote a book about being a socialist and people bought it. And so he got to make all this money. And he's now made, you know, a few million dollars over the past few years because of his book. Um, what do you make of the numbers? Obviously, the past year, his numbers fell he's like, a half a million dollars. But I mean, all in, he's making a lot of money. I actually don't see too much of a contradiction between being a millionaire and railing against a class that produces millionaires. Where I'm totally dumbfounded is that he has had two years to come up with the so now I'm a millionaire message. And his message is capitalist. He's literally saying, I made a product that the market wanted and I got rich off of it. And all of you can do that, too. I, I would have, that's not his message. I, I would have suggested that maybe this is a moment to talk about how the system is rigged for people like him, white, male, privileged with a, a platform, and that he would want to work to make sure that the system works for everybody. But instead, he just did his really defensive, it's not a crime to write a book, and I, I don't know where that's coming from or how that serves him. Well, okay, so Rob, um, he was just asked why he did not pay, because you know, this whole thing about fair share. Oh, yeah. Okay. I so he that. was asked about, uh, now he's a millionaire, and, 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 and his fair share, and let me play the exchange. Your marginal tax rate, tax rate was 26% because of President yeah. Trump's tax cuts. So why not say, you know, I'm leading this revolution, I'm not going to take those. <laughs> Come on, but there he, I am, I paid the taxes that I owe, and by the way, why don't you got Donald Trump up here and ask him how much he pays in taxes? <laughs> okay, the other guy's doing it, Lame. so I'm doing it too is not a good yep. answer. Okay, I think we all can agree that was not a good answer. Eh. But he eh. should have been ready for that. And by the way, I don't know how a millionaire is paying 26%. He's got a good accountant. Um, what, 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 what do you make of this response? Well, first of all, I was shocked that he actually combed his hair, which was great. That's a great okay, start for a millionaire. Okay, that was an unnecessary... No, uh, no uh, look, here's what he needs to do, and that what they need to do at the University of Vermont, they need to teach us a course, and Bernie can be Professor Bernie again, and talk about the virtues of the free market versus socialism, which he espouses, which has collapsed everywhere. Socialism destroys wealth, it destroys freedoms. Here well, he made, as Jess said, and it was a perfect example, he worked hard. I don't envy Bernie Sanders. I'm proud, I'm happy for him that he made $2 million on a book sale. But here's what I would suggest with that $2 million. Here's well, what, now, here's what he should do. Because in Vermont, they pay the highest monthly premiums for health insurance. He wants to give away free health insurance. He could buy the free health insurance for 350 people in Vermont with that $2 million. So that's, 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 that's the thing, because he scoffs, I pay the taxes I owe. By the way, that's, that's, the, that's the rule. Mm -hmm. The problem is when you're Bernie Sanders and you rail against people paying their fair share, and you don't have the huge charitable donations, and you're not donating money to the IRS, you are a hypocrite. I, I mean, ag Absolutely. again, the, there's no inherent hypocrisy in saying, I, I would prefer a socialist system, we live in this one, and I pay the taxes I owe. There's no inherent hypocrisy in that. But when he spent the weekend a attacking a liberal outlet for correctly citing that he has changed in his speeches, railing against millionaires and billionaires, to railing against multimillionaires and billionaires, the defensiveness just mm. shows I, I, that I, I don't... It really undermines the integrity of his message, and the integrity of his message was what Bernie Sanders had. So can I just play who he's starting to sound a lot like, right? I pay what I owe. By the way, Donald Trump says that and is completely unashamed. I pay what I owe, and why would I pay a dollar more? Okay. That's right. Every um, American should here, do that. Here, um, here are Bernie Sanders and Donald Trump talking about their books. 
I want to apologize for writing a book that was number three on the New York Times bestseller, translated into five or six languages. Uh, and that's that. But I wrote The Art of the Deal, which is, in all fairness, I think the number one selling business book of all time. <laughs> Sorry, it's I mean, great. it is it's funny. Great. It is funny. Well, look, one, why are these guys so alike? The, uh, there is no chance. <laughs> Neither one of you like no, that I, question. They're both I, speechless. I, I, I do. <laughs> there is no chance that you could have a woman candidate pull off anything like what they are doing. And I think that's that's an important distinction to make. The idea that like Elizabeth Warren could somehow sit there and say, well, you become a tenured Harvard professor, you can get rich too. She would be rightly vilified for being completely tone deaf. So I do want to take this moment to say, as we have all of these women running, trying to imagine the defensiveness coming out of one of them when questioned about how they made their wealth is just completely inconceivable. Do the Trump voters, okay, so Bernie's been going through all these states that just barely yeah. voted for Trump, right? Pennsylvania, Upper Midwest. Will some of the voters who voted for Trump, who had voted for Obama before, now look at Bernie Sanders and actually say, hey, I like this. I like this guy who's like showing that, who can what, work and succeed. Dollars? Yeah. There, I would say the average working class American says, I work hard, I want to keep more of my own money, I don't want you, because now that Bernie has it, he's coming for your money. They want to keep their money. Well, now, they, they, they want to be then the 1%. Who doesn't? I do. I certainly want to be, right. and I think most Americans right. say- Which gets back to the rig system yes. and why people aren't. No, not rig, I, but I will, you work hard. Well, Bernie had a great perceive, idea and he sold okay. books. But I will say this, Bernie Sanders, when push comes to shove, wants to keep his own money too. He All certainly right. does. Thank you both very much. <laughs>